What is up, YouTubers? John here, and welcome back to more Bakugan the Brawlers. We uh, defeated the squad that beat us the first time, uh, and the other trio that was weak as hell. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now from now on, we're definitely going to be facing people with uh, partner Bakugan. So here we are, we're facing Dan, Julio, and Marucho. Marucho's still kind of being scary because... He has Angelo in his team, so that means he's gonna be a bit tricky to deal with. But I have a, I have a team set up that'll be perfect against everyone, obviously. It's a Chaos team, but it's a pretty good Chaos team, I'll say that much. Julio will be a bit scary, but we'll just see. I don't really think I'm gonna be using the silver card, so I think I'm going to dip that out. And then what I'm going to do, right, I place down another good card and it's going to be this one. Just going to put it more out to the side because I know they'll be like hard to hit if it's in its original spot, so. Alright, I'm going to hope to God that this doesn't miss. But yeah, we have, we have Blade Tiger, Tentaclear, and Serpenoid. Okay, nice, it hit. I'm always worried that sometimes it's just gonna miss, so, you know. And as of an. Oh man. And as an update to, uh. Getting the job at Value Village, it is literally the same, uh, day as I mentioned in two episodes ago, so. It's literally the same day, so. I still don't know. I might be working then, I might have already announced it, but we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, currently it's still the 24th of May. And this episode is definitely a good chunk into June, probably, like halfway into June already, so. <laughs> Funny enough, now that I just realized, Dan's the easiest to deal with. Again. <laughs> Dan, you're useless even when I'm fighting you. Damn it! I try to hit you towards me, but whatever. I want to fight and waste my item. Oh, right. So that that means Julio is definitely going to 100% miss. Because normally when AIs do this, they always 100% miss. Because they do that, and then they don't move after this. They don't use any of the gravity stuff. So they just miss. See? I always know this with the AIs. I kind of know the AIs patterns sometimes when they go for specific ways. You're kind of aiming towards Dan, which I don't like. Oh, you're doing the same thing too. Okay, have fun. Now, I could fight Dan, but he's on his own card. Which, there is a chance he has the Swapper. I know that much as well. So, I think, since I know if I go through that little shortcut over there, I'm going to end up in this area. I think I'll aim for one of the two green cards. Because there's a good chance that it might be his Tentaclair card. Maybe? I'm not sure. Because now that I remember it, Julio doesn't like to treat Tentaclair as his partner sometimes. And I think that's either is either a building card or a character card. I'm not sure, but we'll just give it a try. No, you bastard. No! Why do I fucking miss? How? It sucks so much that I keep missing. Ugh, and now I have to wait a whole turn again. Oh, that's on my other card. I was like, yay, my card. Wait, there's another card. OK. 
Okay, asshole. Not really going the way I wanted it to. Everyone's kind of placing their back and gone all over the place. Yes, fight me. Especially with your fear ripper. I'm kind of scared to fight on Dan's card because I know a possibility of what he has. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, he has Monorous. So there's probably, that's probably his, uh, he does have the card in this deck. Like, I've been trying to remember that, and also, Jesus. I just own Murvitro now. Honestly, good move. He knows when not, then he's gonna lose anyway, so. He's gonna just take his chances, and, uh, yeah. Perfect. Off finger, finger, fate. Oh, 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 I'm giving you points. I'm giving you points. Uh oh, whatever, whatever shall happen. Might as well just waste a bit there. I think Marucho has the last turn. Yeah, okay, so it's my turn now. I could fight his Drago, now that I'm thinking about it. Jeez. Spear attack won't be much. I know what that card is. I'm pretty sure also if I hover over the card, yeah. So that one, he only gets 50, and he's already at 5, 10. And I got like 200 for this. I haven't used any of the cards yet, he hasn't yet, but he might still use 400, which might be bad. I'm willing to take a risk and use Tentaclear for this, but I'm honestly going to go this way and get some uh, stuff first, so. Which might still be a stupid idea. Okay, I landed it this time. There we go. And I also have Cross Stopper now, so I can easily just stop him. It's, it's just the fact that I know what card this is, obviously being my card, so I'm, t I'm just taking the chance with this one. And obviously next turn I'm going to set up my trap with uh, Serpenoid. Alright, this helps me a lot. He might use his 200, but I think that might be okay. There's 400, yeah. And I also can't use my middle card. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna continue too. It's time in battle level three. Oh, time in battle. Nice. Yeah, that's also what I wanted. I wanted them to help. All right, here we go. Fuck you. Get fucked. Sometimes you just gotta use your big old brain to figure out what needs to be done. Alrighty. So far I'm dealing with, with uh, gate cards too, so that's fine. Dan's weak as hell, so he's an easy target. And now he has Drago again, which might be helpful. But I just gotta also place my card in a good position where I feel like anybody can hit. Oh hey, there's his Tentaclear. Oh wait, that's not his Tentaclear. My bad. He hasn't thrown out his Tentaclear yet. And I'm pretty sure Marucho has both Angelo and Preus still. And he's throwing Angelo. Oh. I see. 
Alrighty. So now I just gotta play Serpenoid somewhere. I mean, I guess I could get around and get to here. I think this might be a good location right here. Or here. Hmm. I'll place it there. I'm just figuring out where I should place Serpano and have a good chance for someone to go battle him. But also not to, like, strike him, too. I mean... It would be nice to get that lower percentage, but there's still a chance, like, since he's so low, there's a chance they might, like, power shot him out and they get a free gate guard just by hitting their back of gone onto mine. Shit! I would have loved to fight Drago again. Come on, fight me with Tentaclayer, come on! I don't even know if this is a good location for where he'll jump off and, uh... Uh oh Yes! I got him to fight me! Let's go! Since this is the swap card, your G-Power is my G-Power. Plus, I'll also get to test my theory if it was his ability card or his character card that he doesn't normally use. Might have been character card, but we'll see. Now I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah, okay, so he had his character card, just not his, uh... Ability card. So, uh, there, so if I landed on one of his cards, there was a chance that Tentaclear, my Tentaclear would have gotten the bonus. Okay, that one's a little higher, at least. Still always in the 200 section. Alright, exactly about half of what he has, which is great. For both Chaos, he's gonna get the extra help from them, but we're, I'm like 500 apart from him, so I'm not too worried. Okay, there we go, we win. Nineteen oh three to twelve forty two. It's all thanks to my shooting skills. I beat every one of their Bakugans, too. Well, I at least fought every single person in that group. Okay, so... I guess my one hope is to not fight Runo, because she's probably the scariest person to go up against in this uh, group. That's left, because we have Runo, Julie Shun, Masquerade, Klaus... Which is also scary because you could have Aquas, Pirates, and Chaos. Uh, and then there's Billy and Kamba as well, which is not as scary. But let's see who we're gonna fight against. Kamba, Shun, and Billy. Okay, interesting. I think I'll still stick with the team that I have. Like, it's still a pretty good, like, set to use anyways. So, the last fight you could have Runo, Masquerade, Klaus, or Julie. Which, yeah, that's one Aquas, one Pi- uh, one Aquas, one Subterra, one Darkus, and one Chaos. Obviously. And normally in these sets, like, there's only, like, one Brawler that you don't fight in these- tournaments. Just one. Just one of them that won't enter a tournament. Okay, so um, I guess I'll do the same thing as before. This one is a little better for Ventus, but still like 90 better. 
for us. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before, where I placed that card there, but then I put Blades of Garrett's card down as well. And if we fight Runo, we're definitely going to have to be careful about... Like, I might just go for her card first with Blades of Garrett, and then save mine for later, you know, in case. Okay, landed it, nice. I always keep getting worried that I'm not gonna hit that. <laughs> we don't hit those! Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. Nice, okay. Just getting to get out ready. Because right now, the only really dangerous person in this uh, group is Shun. Billy and Kamba are still threats, but like, you know, not as much. You know, just because of Bakugan wise. Okay, combo is not gonna do anything this turn. <laughs> His AIs are stupid. Well, now I'm glad you're not gonna move again. Also, now it's just in almost impossible for me to get a freaking double stand of where I'm at, so... Not that I really go for double stands anymore. Like, wait, really, literally, I don't even go for double stands, I just fight. I could to win the game, but like, you know... I still win pretty fine with just fighting. Okay, he's definitely gonna probably still do some moves. Oh, did I hit him while he was in the air? I didn't think I did. So far, everyone's missing. You know what, Billy? You get a free pass. Yeesh. You really grinded up on some uh, G power, didn't you? You still should be fine, though. is 200, like, I mean, there is still those, we'll see what he does and see if we need to, yikes, okay, that's not as great, hmm, interesting, this other card is literally something for me, son of a bitch, Okay, well, it's going to be shooting battle. I know he's going to have help, but I have Chaos. I have the Chaos advantage. He might have... He'll definitely have the friend advantage. But I think we'll still be fine without an ability card. Plus, it's shooting battle. I'm pretty good at shooting battle, especially level 2. Oh, hey, we still get help from Shun anyways. I guess as long as you're, like, close, I guess there's, like, a chance... That uh, things will be different. Okay, you get the last one. Oh, three seconds. Three seconds. Fifteen, seventeen to twelve, twenty-nine. You know what, I'm gonna put the... Should I put it in the same location? Hmm... No, I'll put it here. No, I'll, I'll throw, uh... Mr. Serpenoid over there. Definitely go to swings for combo. Yes, I know you have that, which is scary, but 
You got a 580. <laughs> uh, I mean, the ability cards might be uh, screwy as well. And luckily for the swap card, too, it's more better for Chaos and Subterra at most. Ventus is not so good. Like, 60. It's like the lowest one of the group as well. That's hilarious. Yeah, cost offer is gonna be a little scary. Going straight for the 200, I can respect that. I know for a fact now you're gonna get the extra help. You're like 300. You are actually just about to be lower than me. Interesting. Yeah, he's literally like 30 below. Alright, well this is going to be Shaken Battle. It's going to be Shaken Battle level 3, I know it. They're going to help him. I do have the Chaos Advantage, but I think we're a little too close for comfort. Especially since he has that that can stop me. And I may not get the Circle one. Which Circle is like the one that I can easily do and get points, so... I think for safekeeping, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna use 151. Just to be safe. But, Billy used, all, used up all of his ability cards, I still have my better ones. And... Combat Lily used... all of them. I think Billy, yeah, Billy also... He used all but one, but that's one specifically for only gonna be useful on me. So, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Well, thank you for stopping right when I was finished circle. <laughs> I think it would have at least been close. I don't know if I would have lost or won, but I think it would have at least been close if I had not done the, uh, Ability card, so I think I did the right move there. Alright, I might try to fight someone with uh, Tentaclear. Me and Shun. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it depends if uh, Billy or Kamba. Well, actually, no, it's just Billy because Kamba already wins. Oh, you're a jerk. Oh. Now you see, both are good opportunities to go for, because I know what card this is, which I know it's it's only 90 apart, but still. So I don't have nothing to worry about, but for both, for Billy, he's not on his main card, that's just a random card, so it may be something, but I'm not sure if it will be something that would hurt me. But he's low, and he doesn't have any ability cards whatsoever. I still have Turn of Fortune. Well, actually, no way. He has a 200 card. Ooh. A tough decision. Tough decision. I don't know which one I'd rather go for. Actually, hold on. You don't have any defense. I'm going for you. <laughs> I'm going for this motherfucker over here. Yeah, and I knew that was going to do some decent damage. The giant eyeball versus Griff Griff. And this is... Oh, it's just uh, the character card, which actually helps me more. And go ahead, use your 200 card that's not even going to catch up to me. And then I'll just use Turn of Fortune. And yeah, it's definitely at least going to do more than you, what you have. There we go, there's a 300. Alrighty, well I win this match.
Damn it. Fuck. I always panic whenever, like, I see the gold. It's like, I gotta hit. Hey, one, two, three, four. That's a nice number. <laughs> Even though the number before was also pretty nice. We had like one and then three twos, and now we have one, two, three, four. Pretty good numbers, pretty good numbers. Look at that. And that's seven million. Yeah, that's seven million points right there for ranking points. Just imagine when we make it to ten million. <laughs> ten million subscribers! God, I wish I had that much. <laughs> so, you know, maybe if you guys could give me a big old favor and hit that subscribe button so maybe one day we can make it. Alright, so the last four. Most of them are scary. Well, Ru Runo and Klaus would be probably the most scary. Because Klaus has a chance to probably have the three attributes, which is definitely a little bit risky. And Runo, obviously, being Runo, having a good advantage in the area. And since I'm using Blades of Gara, that might fuck me over as well. Um, but, like, we have those two, and then it's Julie and Masquerade. Which I guess in those cases, they're both kind of even because. Julie doesn't seem like more of a threat, but she doesn't have a disadvantage. Unlike Masquerade, who does have a disadvantage, but is pretty strong. And I'm pretty sure it has some pretty strong Bakugan normally anyway, so... And of course, the first one we had to see was Runo. So we have Runo, Klaus, who is just using only Aqua, so he's not really a threat, and Julie. So the only one who didn't enter was Masquerade. So that'll be for the next episode, and we're most likely going to keep the same team, because I think it's still worth using it. Um, but yeah, uh, next episode we'll be fighting them, and I'm actually going to record that episode right after this as well, just because I have the memory on my iPad and the time for it too. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to end things here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press like button or subscribe, whatever, and I'll see you dudes in the next video. See you next time. Jimmy was like, why are you cheering on? My fortress is way stronger than your circle guard. And I'm like, you'll see, you'll see. Yeah, if only there's an ability card as well to swap, that would be interesting. Well, I have to say, this book can't be mean.